Did you ever think about what a marijuana joint is? It's a paper tube filled with dried marijuana leaves. When lit, the marijuana smoke delivers a dangerous drug called THC into the smoker's body. Like all drugs, the THC and other chemicals in marijuana changes the way your body and brain work. Let's talk more about marijuana. Marijuana comes from a cannabis plant. Marijuana is a drug that is illegal for recreational use in most places. Marijuana is also called weed, pot, or grass. Marijuana is made from the dried leaves, stems, and flowers from the cannabis plant. Marijuana is rolled in paper and smoked like a cigarette. It's called a joint. Sometimes, people smoke marijuana in a pipe, also known as a bong. And some people brew it as a tea, or mix it with food and eat it. When the chemicals from the marijuana enter your body, it changes the way your brain works. Most people smoke marijuana to get stoned or feel high. The drug can make some people feel relaxed, while others feel anxious. It can be difficult for marijuana users to focus or concentrate. Marijuana affects people in many different ways. Marijuana is known as a recreational drug, but throughout history, it was used for medical reasons too. Today, scientists have shown that marijuana can help treat the symptoms of some diseases and is used most of the time to help people manage pain. For that reason, doctors can prescribe medical marijuana where it is legal. However, legal does not mean it's safe. Marijuana can be harmful to your body and brain. When a person lights a marijuana joint, the heat produces hundreds of dangerous chemicals that affect your body and brain. The chemicals in marijuana change the delicate chemical balance in your brain. Tetrahydrocannabinol, also known as THC, is the key ingredient in marijuana. THC is responsible for the high many people feel. When a person smokes a joint or uses the bong, the THC in marijuana enters the lungs. It is immediately absorbed into the bloodstream and carried to the rest of your body, including your brain. The chemical structure of THC is very similar to another natural chemical in the body. Because they are so similar in structure, the body allows the THC to be recognized and to change how the brain normally works. In just a few seconds, THC enters the brain. It causes the user to feel high or euphoric. THC targets the brain's reward system. Your brain releases the chemical dopamine. Dopamine is a chemical messenger that controls your emotions, movement, motivation, and feelings of pleasure. THC disrupts how your brain normally works. Inhaling marijuana smoke also increases your heart rate by 20 to 50 beats per minute or more. That's not safe. Your airways relax and the blood vessels in your eyes swell up, making your eyes look red. When marijuana is eaten, it goes through your digestive system and it takes longer for the THC to get into the bloodstream. Not all marijuana users have a good experience. Instead of feeling pleasure and relaxation, some users feel anxious or afraid. This can happen if a person uses too much or if the marijuana is very strong or because the person's inexperienced. In large doses, marijuana can cause hallucinations or delusions that can be very dangerous. Marijuana has a very bad effect on attention, memory, and learning. After taking marijuana, the effects can affect you for days or weeks afterwards. By lowering a person's ability to learn, it reduces the chance of completing school. Marijuana users, unlike people who don't use the drug, are more likely not to finish high school or earn a college degree. Using marijuana while you're still growing and developing during your childhood and teen years can cause long-term and even permanent harmful changes in your brain, including the loss of IQ points. Marijuana use also negatively affects people's overall health. Marijuana smoke contains poisonous gases and particles that can damage the lungs, irritate the throat, and harm the respiratory system. If a person uses marijuana a lot, they can suffer from withdrawal symptoms when they're not using the drug. 
This can cause a person to become dependent on marijuana, which is the body's need for the drug. Over time, this dependence can cause physical harm and behavior problems. So, you may be wondering, if marijuana harms you, why do young people use marijuana? Well, children and teens start using marijuana for many different reasons. Some kids are just curious about how it will affect them, while others do it to fit in with a social group. Kids who have already begun to smoke cigarettes or use alcohol are at a higher risk for marijuana use as well. Children and teens who have not been treated for disorders like ADHD, conduct disorder, or anxiety, or who were physically or sexually abused are also more likely to use marijuana or other illegal drugs. Some young people begin using drugs to help cope with anxiety, depression, anger, and other unpleasant feelings. Some kids get high to avoid the problems and challenges of growing up. Other children and teens are influenced by family members who use drugs. Many people believe that marijuana use is not a dangerous drug. And with a growing number of states legalizing marijuana for medical or recreational use, some people may think it isn't harmful. But let's look at the facts one more time. Marijuana contains hundreds of toxic or poisonous substances. Marijuana use has a wide range of negative, physical, and mental effects. And marijuana can be addictive. It's almost impossible to grow up in the world today and not be exposed to marijuana, illegal drugs, and peer pressure. At some point, someone will ask you if you want to try marijuana. What's your answer going to be? You know the facts of how marijuana can affect your body and impact your life. It's your decision. It's your choice.